What is up guys, Rick Akis here, and this is a comparison video between the SCAR-H and the AK-12. The two assault rifles, uh, only for the assault class in Battlefield 4 Beta. So let's get right into it. Firstly, damage. The SCAR-H wins in the damage category. It does 34 maximum damage up close, First, the AK-12 is only 25. This is a 36% advantage for the SCAR-H for maximum damage. Now, not only does the Scar H do more damage, you're gonna and you're gonna be able to kill in three shots up close rather than four, but it carries this damage even further than the AK-12. The damage drop off for the Scar H starts at 12 meters, so it's going to be doing 34 damage for 12 meters, versus the AK-12s only 10 meters. This is a 20% advantage for the Scar H. Also, not only that, the the bullets then after that point do slope down, or sorry, the range does slope down until the 70 meter point. That is the same for both guns. However, uh, from there, each gun is going to be doing their minimum damage. Now, the Scar H actually does more minimum damage than the AK-12. The Scar H will be doing a minimum of 25 damage at 70 meters and beyond, while the AK-12 will be doing a minimum of 17.6 damage from 70 meters and beyond. This is a 42% advantage in minimum damage for the Scar H. So basically, the Scar H is doing so much damage that at 70 meters and beyond, so basically inf infinite meters, you're going to be doing the same damage as the AK-12 does up close. So this is a huge advantage for the Scar H in terms of damage. Now the AK-12's advantage lie in terms of recoil. Firstly, the AK-12 does have a slightly higher fire rate. The AK-12 fires at 680 rounds per minute, while the Scar H fires at 620. This is a 10% advantage for the AK-12. Not much, definitely does not affect the time to kill too much because the Scar H, again, does take one less shot to kill, but it is a slight advantage for the AK-12. The AK-12 also has a much larger magazine. 30 rounds for the AK-12 versus the Scar H only 20 rounds. This is a 50% advantage for the AK-12 in magazine size. There's also 35% less upwards kick for the AK-12. It's very much just more accurate all around. So, what these guns essentially break down to is the AK-12 is the much more usable, user-friendly, less recoiling gun, while the SCAR-H is the, you know, heavy hitting equivalent of an assault rifle. The Scar H is doing more maximum damage, carries that damage for further, and does more minimum damage, but the recoil is punishing. The Scar H is definitely not as user friendly. You're gonna have to burst fire or even single fire at extreme ranges because the recoil is pretty insane. Up close though, if you're playing, for example, Domination, uh, the Scar H is going to outperform the AK-12. The time to kill is substantially better. And, you know, if you fight a guy with the AK-12, you start shooting at the same time, the Scar H is going to win 100% of the time if you're landing your shots. Now, the if you're landing your shots thing is a key component because the Scar H, like I keep saying, has a lot more recoil. Like, very noticeably, if you are using the AK-12, you unlock the Scar H, you switch to it, you're going to be blown away by just how much more recoil it does have. However, if you're a skilled player, you're going to be able to get um, so many kills with the Scar H. But again, the AK-12, the AK-12 is so good at range. You don't have, you basically don't have to burst fire. Almost every other gun in the beta, you have to burst fire at range. The AK-12, you can treat it like a Call of Duty gun and just go fully automatic at medium and even long range, and you'll have no problem in dropping people. It is extremely accurate. The recoil is almost non-existent. So again, that's a huge advantage for the AK-12 to be able to use at long and medium ranges better than the Scar H. So basically, what is my verdict? What gun do I think is better? Well, 
I'm a sucker for the Scar H. I am a huge like, a proponent of damage. That's basically like the only stat I care about, and honestly. I love guns with that do a lot of damage, so I've been having a ton of fun with the Scar H. However, I can't objectively say that the Scar H is the better gun. In my opinion, the better gun is the AK-12. Simply because it is so user friendly, it is so easy to drop people from any range. And you know, the Scar H, again, you're killing guys up close way easier, but the excess recoil and also the much smaller magazine size, 20 rounds in a magazine is a huge detriment because you know it's gonna be it's hard to kill you know two three guys with one spray especially because you might be missing a few bullets with the scar H because of its recoil the AK-12 you'll have no problem going from one target right to another while holding down the trigger the recoil is no problem you can just spray down groups of people and that ten, the 10 round magazine advantage really comes into play so in as a result I like the scar H better but the better gun admittedly is the AK-12. It is just, again, so user friendly, so easy to take down guys at range. This thing is just a powerhouse. I can't wait for the actual game to come out so I can put a little bit more magnification on the AK-12. Definitely I'm gonna be running like a holographic sight and a doubler so I can double my zoom and take down guys at even longer ranges. And the Scar H will be a lot better if I could get a uh, recoil mitigation grip like an angled grip on the scar age. I can imagine that helping a lot with the recoil Hope you guys enjoyed this video remember rate comment and subscribe and as always have a good day